And red again, Ooh, number three. And that's your record and CD vouchers. You're going very well. Well done, Paul. Last three. Look at your lights now, Pat. They've gone, remember. Black. Black. Oh, I'm black and lucky. Let's have a look at what you've won. You have won the microwave, the record and CD vouchers, the go-kart and the pine dresser. Four very nice prizes. OK. Now, you've got your money. You can't take that from you. You've got your tankards and your, and your bullies and your darts. That's fine. It's the prizes. Are you... Do they mean enough to you to keep them or would you like to gamble them against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind bully? 101 or more with six darts. Three for Paul and then three for you, Pat. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. Think about it, talk about it. Let's ask the audience. What do you think? What would you do? Yeah. Gamble? Keep the prizes? What do you think? Speak to me. Speak to me. Well, we'll try it. You're going to have a go, Fizz. 101 or more with six darts. It's Paul first. We wish you all the best. Come with me, Pat. Tonight's star prize. Paul, just take your time. No rush. Best of luck. Eleven. Eight. Another eight. So that's 27. Pat, 74. All more for tonight's star prize. 20. One. Still be done. 53 left, can still be done. Oh, unlucky. Trouble 19, but well, that's I'm the gamble. Well, I've got to say, it's got to have been the most cruel phrase on television. I'm sorry. Have a look at what you could have won. Come with me. Come on. Come on. In you come. Come in, Pat. Come in. It's a beautiful caravan. You can see you're about hours and hours of pleasure with it. Top mate, all the spec there. Well, we are very disappointed for you. You've still got your money. It was a brave decision. Thanks very much for playing with us tonight. Your 420 you've got, and you can tank it, of course. Ray Batty, he did very well, didn't he? New face on television. 228 he got for your three, for your three doctors down in Chelmsford. Thanks very much for watching Bullseye. Watch us next week. We'd love to have you with us on a Sunday. You can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. at breakfast. Tasty on toast, perfect on pancakes. Nutella goes with waffles and surprises. It's made with quality ingredients like roasted hazelnuts and cocoa. So whatever you have for breakfast, it'll be a happy one. Get the live casino experience at Play Ojo with game show favourites like Crazy Time. I'm Jonathan Warburg. Sometimes you need Samuel L. Jackson to play you in a commercial because of posts like this from Steve. I love your toasty loaf, but I've seen other toasty loaves that look exactly the same. What gives? I give. Sure, we could pack our toasty loaf full of so much run-of-the-mill wheat that it'd make your mama cry, but would we? Hell no. So you go ahead and grab yourself some wannabe Warburton's toasty loaf, Steve, because they all taste the same, right? Right? <laughs> With Sky Store, you're in for a hair-raising Halloween sale. Open up now. Watch nerve-wracking movies for just $3.99. Eeny, meeny, The Halloween sale is now on in Sky Store. Manchester, a city built on style and spirit, where you live, walk and talk like nowhere else. United, yet divided. This weekend, 
Will it be red or blue? To upgrade to the Manchester Derby, visit sky.com slash sports. to all the viewers at home to watch this edition of Bullseye. We've got a superb audience in, and they really are in the best of spirits. They've been laughing and joking because we've got the best warm-up man in the business here. And, it's, and on top of that, not only have they had him, but they've, they've got me later on. Denny, where are you, Den? You can go, go on, now. I'll, uh, right. I'll take over now. Off you go. Oh, go on. Really? Off you go. That's fine. Go on. Oh, 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 just a minute. Oh, Denny, 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 come back. It's not serious. Sit down. No, it's, we'll keep him. We'll keep him. He's too good, that Denny Hodge. Let's see what our contestants are like tonight on Bullseye. Give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> Wonderful. Very nice. How are you, Francis? Right. Nice to see you, sir. And Mickey, and you're from Lisbon. Yeah, That's Northern Ireland. That's all the water, is it? Northern Ireland. Now, tell us what you do, Fran, for, for, for a living. A fibre glass worker. Fabulous. But you, you were involved with a very exclusive product, weren't you, at one time? Yeah, DeLorean cars. The DeLorean car, yeah. Yeah. D they never actually made a lot, did they? A few it's... thousand, just I mean. think. And then they went, they went over the water to America, They're didn't they? They were But did you do something with... Didn't they make a deluxe model for the stars? They made three, three gold models. Gold ones? Yeah, they were gold-plated after they were made. One was for a bank, one was for an Arab sheik, I think, and the other one was for Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart, yeah. And what about you now, Mickey? Nice to see you, from, again from Lisbon. What, what do you do? What, what's your job? I'm a clerk trucker with uh, a textile company. Tell us about the trip you went You went to Scotland. He knows this question's coming up, really. When you went to Scotland, you went on a, it was a, basically, it was a, a boozer's outing, wasn't well, it? Well, that's what it was, for a weekend. And you went over to play darts in Scotland? Yeah. And then, um, go on. We ended up, well, the boats went on strike as soon as we arrived. Yeah. Tried to get planes, planes were booked out. No good. No way home, ended up on a trawler. A fishing trawler, yeah. small fishing trawler, going back. 40 of us on a trawler. 40 of you. And anybody ill? Well, there was a couple of turned up a light shade of green, but. <laughs> <laughs> Gracious me. Anyway, we're pleased to see you here tonight, both of you. Welcome. Tommy and Colin. Now, you're from, you're from Durham. Yes. Durham, County Durham, Way Island. That's it, isn't it, Tommy? Uh -huh. What do you do, Tom? I'm a house husband. A house husband? Yes. What does that, what does that entail? Well, I got up early in the morning to take the wife to work. <laughs> <laughs> and I come back and I do all the housework, cooking, yeah. shopping. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you've got a youngster? Yes. Yeah, and a boy or a girl? Boy. You have a hobby, you're interested in birds, aren't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, do you go out and study them? Or, or... Oh, no, I keep them. Do you show them? Well, I was hoping to show this year, but I'm having a bad season breeding them. No. Really? Uh -huh. They're just not turning out as no. well as you'd like them to? No. Well, never mind. You're keeping birds, it keeps your pecker up, doesn't it? It is. <laughs> Colin, you're from Durham as well. Now, this is a fascinating job, this. Well, the Wichita Lion Man, who sang that song? Can, can you remember? Yeah, somebody said it. What? Mm. Glenn Campbell, thanks a lot, yeah. <laughs> Colin, tell us what it, you're a lineman. Tell, tell us what it is. Well, I work for the local electricity board and uh, I work on the overhead lines, the poles and you, the towers. And the, t and the big pylons? Yeah. You climb up to the top of them? Yeah. All weathers? Oh, yeah, mostly bad weather. Well, of course, <laughs> because that's when the problems are, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Who have we got at the end? We've got Mike and we've got Sue. Oh, from Bridport in Dorset. Nice to see Hi, you both. I'm a long way from you both, but I can still see you. <laughs> you. You're married, Mike? Yeah. Good. And, and you've got a family? Yes. And how many have you got? Uh, I've got five boys. Five. Two, five boys? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you took the time to come and see us. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about this, this dream he had. Not, he, didn't want it, he didn't want you to tell it, but go on, we can live with it. Go on, tell us, Sue. <laughs> about a week after we had the letter telling us that, that, that we would again. be appearing, yeah. he woke up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, crying <laughs> out loud. And I said, what's the matter? He said, they're always taking the mick out of West Dorset people on television, he said. 
I dreamt that Jim Bone had asked me to play darts in my welly, sucking a piece of straw. <laughs> nice, did you? It's, it's, it's quite amazing, actually, you should say that, because uh, when you've got the letter, when, when the people get the letters to say that they're on, a lot of them say, it's, you, you do have a few sleepless nights thinking about it, don't you, when you know you're on? Because it's, it's not as straightforward as it looks. But uh, we th think we've got six very able contestants tonight. Give them a nice round of applause. OK, let's play bullseye. To remind you once again, questions in the first round, £30 each. Bonus lights, don't forget them, the three brains. Here we go, bullseye's beginning with Mickey, choosing a subject for Francis. Faces, please, Jim. Faces with like Mickey. <laughs> spelling. Spelling. It's no problem, no bonus, but the subject's still there, so you can still get £30 for this. Please spell deceit. Meaning fraud. D E C E A C T. I can offer it, Colin. D E C E A T. It's not. I'll just check it with Bully anyway. D E C E I T. So, never mind, early days. Colin for Tommy. History, please, John. History, come on. Tommy, history we like. 50. 50 pounds you've got. For another 30 pounds, Carl, what name was given to the series of scandals which led to the American president, Richard Nixon, resigning from office in 1974? The Watergate scandal. Fine. Sue for Mike. I'll have places, please, Jim. Places, Mike. 50. 50. Another 30 you've got, Sue, giving you 80, if you can give us this right. We've got a film clip for you all to look at. Don't press your light because you don't know what the question's going to be. OK. That's a general view of one of the greatest trading centres in the Far East. Where is it, Sue? Hong Kong. Hong Kong is right. OK. Anticipated the question there, Carl. I'm not intentionally. Don't worry about it. The end of the first round. Mickey and Francis, no score. Colin and Tommy, £80. Sue and Mike, £80. You're looking good. <laughs> OK. We move on. £50 a question now, and the questions are a little more difficult. You've got left to choose all the subjects that are lit. So we'll go again, Mickey, for Francis. Sport, please, Tim. Sport, we'd like, Francis. Sport. 50. Good man. You're on your way now. Who won the 1989 United States Masters Golf Championship? Nick Faldo. Good man. Gets you £50. Well done. We move on. Colin for Tommy. Affairs, please, Jim. Affairs, Tommy. 50. 50. Very nearly 100, actually. Unlucky there, Tommy. Another £50 for your call. In November 88, who was elected Prime Minister of Pakistan after the country's first election for 10 years? Benazir Bhutto. Oh, what a good, good answer that was. I thought that was quite a difficult question. Well done. Nice Geordie accent as well. Benazir Bhutto. It's good. Good man. Well done, sir. <laughs> Sue for Mike. I'll have words, please, Jim. All right. Come on, Michael. Words, please. 50. Yes, you're all going well now. That's what we like to see. Sue, for another £50, when milk is separated in cheese making, what is the watery part of the milk called? The whey. Good girl. I thought you'd, you, I thought you'd gone then. You're in. <laughs> £50 you've got. Look at the scores now at the end of round two. 100 for Mickey and Francis, Colin and Tommy with 180, Sue and Mike with £180. You're going well. <laughs> OK, round three, £100 a question. Pressure's on the dart players now, of course, because not only are the questions more difficult, but the dart players have got to get their acts together because the subjects, as you can see, particularly tonight, are isolated. We've got showbiz, books, Britain and faces. Here we go for the last time in this part of the game, Mickey. Faces, please, John. Faces with light, Francis. Spelling. Spelling, and the category's gone. So you see what I'm saying to you? You know, you've got to really hit the subject chosen. Colin for Tommy. I'll have faces as well, Jim. Faces as well. That's a bullseye! 200 pounds! <laughs> Very well played. Very well played there, Tommy. For a further 100 pounds for your Colin, 
Look, all look at your monitors. It's your chance, first call. Whose face is that? Julian Lennon. Julian Lennon gets you a further £100. Well done. Sue for Mike. I'll have books, please, Jim. Books with like, Michael. Books, please. One hundred. One hundred. Well done. Excellent. For a further one hundred pounds, Sue. Edith Holden kept a journal for her own pleasure. Many years after her death, it was published and it became a bestseller. What is it called? Diary of an Edwardian Lady. You shall have that, madam. In fact, it's the country diary of an Edwardian Lady, but you've got it. One hundred pounds. The score's at the end of this part of the game. One hundred pounds for our two boys from Lisbon, four hundred and eighty pounds for Colin and Tommy, and three hundred and eighty pounds for Sue and Mike. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Phenomenal score. So here we go, all to play for, part two. Tony, it's pounds for points. All right, you are, Francis. Twenty. Twenty. And treble 20, 100. Well done. <laughs> OK, Tommy, 100 to beat. 20. 5. Another 5. It's 30. 100 to beat, Mike. Five. Trouble 20. Another trouble 20, 125. <laughs> and the first round to make them. For £125, Sue, and this gets you in front, in fact, the worst day this century for the stock market happened in October 1987 when share values dropped almost twice as much as in the Wall Street crash of 1929. What name was given to that day in October? Black Monday. For £125. Good girl. <laughs> Which gives us, just look at this, £100 for Mickey and Francis, £480 for Colin and Tommy, and £505 for Sue and Mike. Over to Tony. Yes. OK, Francis. Thank you. 20. 20. And 20, 100. Well done. <laughs> Good game. Tommy, 100 to beat. Treble 20. Five. And 20, 85. Once again, Mike, 100 to beat. Five. 20. And five, which is 30, so the second round to Francis. Mickey, it's worth £100 to you, this, Mickey. Which American founded the FBI and led the G-men in the 1930s? Hoover. Good man. £100 you've got. Gives us now £200 for Mickey and Francis, £480 for Colin and Tommy, and still 505 for Sue and Mike. Back to Tony. <laughs> yes. Final round, everything to pay for. 20, 5, and 20, 45. Okay, Tommy, 45 to beat. 20, treble 20, and 1, 121. Well done, Tommy. 121, mate. Treble one. One. And treble one. That's seven. So, the final round to Tommy. Colin, this will take you through to Bully's prize board. Fingers on your buzzers, the other two. This is your question for £121 and the place in the final. Mrs Thatcher met her grandson for the first time in May 1989. What is his name? There's no buzzer on your right. Dennis? It's not. You were right to have a crack at it. In fact, it was Michael. 
So there's no change in the scores, which means Mickey and Francis have £200, Colin and Tommy have £480, but through to Bullish Prize Board, Sue and Mike with £505, we've got to say cheerio to Mickey and Francis and Colin and Tommy. In you come. Well played. Well played. Well played. Really very, very good. The viewers at home, I promise you, they will have had a marvellous 20 minutes with you. It was one well, nail biter, that one. Dear, dear me. You've got, in fact, it's not too bad, the two boys... Uh, you've 200 quid here. It'll save you going on a troll the next time you want to go across. All right. <laughs> and £480 for the boys. That's not bad for 20 minutes' work, is it? No. I'm going to count this out. I hope you're enjoying it at home. It gets better. See you in two minutes when I've counted this out. ta <laughs> Big saver. Save on hundreds of products with Nectar prices at Sainsbury's. Simply scan or swipe Nectar in-store or online. Yes. Coral's new rewards grabber is now better than ever. Free to play each day. Win a guaranteed prize from cash rewards to Coral coins. Every single time. The new improved rewards grabber from Coral. Get more in every grab. Sky Cinema brings you two free view tickets every month so you can go catch Paw Patrol, the mighty movie. This year, new heroes. Rock and roll! <gasps> and that's why I wear a hard hat. New adventure. Ah! <laughs> new name. How about the Paw Patrol? But more. How about the Mighty Pups? Enjoy Paw Patrol, the mighty movie, in cinemas now with two free view tickets from Sky Cinema. Think you don't like this tasty-looking Pepsi Max? Your prob's wrong. Just saying, if 70% of the UK prefers the taste of Pepsi Max, you prob's prefer Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max. Thirsty for more. There can be only one. There's only one kick, uh -huh. one goat, one hedgehog. Oh, nice wall, Jim. But there's only one great one. And finally, only one biscuit, the true original, and one person to tell you about it. Me, Trevor McDonald. Actually, it's Sir Trevor McDonald, and I'll take it from here. <laughs> McVitie's True Originals. Highly skilled master cat thief. Watch! Puss in Boots The Last Wish, available now on Sky Cinema. Who's that? Who's that? Halloween. Available now. Welcome back to part two of this edition of Bullseye. That really was a rip-roaring first half, wasn't it? Was that brilliant, wasn't it? That one, two, five got you in there. But I wonder how you felt when I was asking... The, 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 the boys in the middle could have gone in front, couldn't they, with that Margaret Thatcher's... That's right. What were you thinking well, then, I sir? thought, if they get it, we're sunk. That, 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 it was that, it was that, wasn't it? And he, oh, his favourite was a shame, wasn't it? Because he played well. Yeah. In fact, we've all played well. It's been super. So I'm not really taking the mickey out of you with the straw from Bidport. Am I down yonder? <laughs> eh? Not really. Marvellous. We're delighted for you. We've got £505 here. There is 500 there, and there's the five. Who's going to keep that, Mike? I'm oh, well, see who's the boss, that's it. That's an entry. <laughs> You put that in your pocket. You take that home, whatever. Even if we have a fire practice, you take that home. <laughs> you can relax now. It's not your turn now. It's the turn of the professional. It's bronze bully time. 301 or more scored by our professional dart player. We'll double that and give it to the charity chosen by our finalists here tonight. We've got the gentleman who's the world, world pairs champion. 
throwing for charity tonight. He's one of our favourites, a great character. Please welcome, as he throws for charity, Richie Gardner. <laughs> Okay, Richie. Best of luck. Twenty. Trouble twenty. Twenty. One hundred. Well done. Good start. Twenty. One. Travel 20, 81. Slip there. 181. Rich. Three to go. Twenty. Travel twenty. Yes. And travel twenty. One hundred and forty. Hey, what about that? Last, I, I, I thought you were missing. I heard you say yes. Yes. You said you got in. <laughs> no, £3.21. That's £642 there. Tell us, Sue, where's it going? Well, it's going towards a local swimming pool, because we don't have one. We have to travel 15 miles to get to the nearest swimming pool. So you I have think... now got £642 to do a bit more digging. All right. <laughs> Marvellous. That's great. How are you, young sir? I'm fine, Jim. It's yeah. nice fine, to see yeah. you again. Yeah. It's a slim image. It's amazing how the, the image of golf has altered over the last five years, isn't it? The golf? Uh, the, the darts, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> yes. Cat, cat. No, they'll leave it in. <laughs> I know my producer, he'll leave that in. He will leave it. What I was going to say, you're all into golf, aren't you now? Yeah, mm. most of the do top dart players are into yeah. golf. Yeah. Oh, the, Bob Anderson, who's on the show later. L lucky golfer. Lucky golfer. Is he? Yeah. Should I tell him that when he comes? Yeah. Really? Definitely, yeah. Have you mm. played him? Played against yeah, he's, him, good, he's a good golfer, yeah. Yeah. Because Tony Green's doing a bit now. I mean, it's that, and Bristol, you're all becoming slim athletes now. I mean, the, the image is gone, hasn't it, now, of the, of the beard? Well, a lot of think so, yeah. Because so. they don't have it now on, on, on television. They don't have the beard, do they? They don't show the no, beard. They, no, you're only allowed to drink water on television now. Well, that's got to be right. Good, a good image for the game as well. Well, it's better, yeah. Yeah, of course it is. And you're a credit to the game, sir. Thanks very much indeed. Jim, We're thank delighted you about that, I yeah. promise you. Yeah, yes, good. It could be yours. The bronze woolly, sir, could be yours. Cheers, mate. Let's All have a look at the end of the season. Best of luck, Wish Mike. All the best. best of luck, Sue. Good. Well Thank done, you. Rich. Good Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, it seems at the moment like you cannot go wrong tonight, doesn't it? Let's have a look at what Bully's prize board has got for you tonight. In one. As the water swishes around those dishes, you'll be glad to have won this super dishwasher. In two. Here's a really rousing prize. It's a radio alarm. In three. Enjoy again those great moments of television with this selection of video classics. In four. If you want to play in the open, this is the prize for you. A set of golf clubs. In five. BMX excitement for some youngster with this BMX bike. Six. To make that dinner party a gilt-edged success, this gold-rimmed dinner service. In seven. We love to see the goodies go round, and this one does just that. It's a lazy Susie. In eight. Hey, just dig this, and it won't give you backache. It's a terrarium. And Bully's special prize. Ooh la la, a fabulous weekend for two in that elegant city of romance and love, Gay Paris. <laughs> The, uh, first of all, for the viewers at home, if you think Sue shrunk, it's because she plays darts far more comfortably without her shoes on. So she, we've let her take her shoes off. Nine prizes, nine darts. Six for you, Mike, and three for you, Sue. All right. Keep out of the black and in the red, because it's the red sectors where the prizes are. F fabulous weekend in Paris is Bully's special prize. I'm saying no more than that. Please, we wish you the best of luck. First three, off you go, Mike. <coughs> Come in here, Sue. OK, Mike. Best of luck. Red, number six. Fine. That's the dinner service. Black. Red, number one. That's the dishwasher. Two out of three. You're looking fine. OK, so just take your time. 
No rush. Your line, sir. Red number seven. Fine. That's the, the lazy Susie. Red number three. That's the video classics. Oh, I'm unlucky. Unlucky, sir. You were going well. Take it out, sir. In your last three. Look at your lights. Yes, you You've won the lights, Tom. Don't forget. Right, Mike. Three to go. Red number eight. Excellent. That's the terrarium. Black. Red number five. That's the BMX bike. Now, let's have a look at what you've won. You have won the dishwasher, the video classics, the BMX bike, the dinner service, the lazy Susie, and the terrarium. A good armful of prizes. <laughs> OK? <laughs> your £505, that's in your pocket, never to be taken away from you. All right, your bullies and your tankers, that's all yours. It's these prizes. Are you, going to prepare, are you prepared to gamble those prizes against the unknown star prize behind that curtain there, behind Bully? You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. 101 or more with six darts, three apiece. Sue first and then Mike. Bear in mind the way you've played, bear in mind the prizes. What would you do? Come on, tell him. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> All right. Tell me now. We're going for it. You're going to gamble. Non-dart player to go first. Come and stand with me, Mike. Listen to Tony. We wish you the, all the luck in the world. <clears throat> so, just take your time, settle in. Right, 101 or more. Tonight's star prize. Best of luck. 16. 3. And nerves. That's 20 to all the time in the world. That's 19. So, we need 82 or more, Mike, for tonight's star prize. Best of water, please. 20. Treble 20. Yes! yes! You've got it! 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 you have have a look at this. Come on, here you come. It's a uh, well, 15 speed belt, flex to super, thing, 48 to engine. Luxury. Uh, the ultimate, the ultimate. There you are. And you can use it, can't you, where you live? Like, you, because you're on the, the coast, aren't you? All your prizes as well. We're absolutely delighted, if only for the reason it's the first one we've had so far this season. Thanks very much indeed to Richie Gardner. 642 quid for the swimming pool. You can try that in it when you've built it. Thanks very much indeed. Nice to see you all. Watch us next week on Bullseye, because you can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. <laughs>